Well, Johnny, it's been raining shots on goals out there, but you're pretty wet yourself now. Yeah, tough conditions this morning, really wet, but actually it really helped, I think, with the session because down here at the ground, a real a real slick surface. Um, credit to Luke and his team, they've prepared the pitch really well for us and uh, it was nice to get down here and train on it today and a little bit of rain actually helped, you know, zipping the ball around and the uh, boys were really bright this morning. Easter time, of course, a lot of good food about, a lot of uh, distractions for players, but we've got to be very much on our mind on the job, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, they need to lay off of all that, the uh, the food, no no, uh, no Easter eggs for the boys, they can have that after Monday maybe, but we've got business to take care of in these next few days, Friday, Monday's a quick turnaround in games, so um, always you always look at that Easter period as being a crucial part of the season, and uh, definitely you know this time around with the position that we're in, uh, two massive games coming up over this period. I wouldn't expect you to say what it is, but have you got a points target in mind? No, keep winning, keep trying to win, keep trying to get as many as we can on the board. Um, see where that takes us. So obviously, you know, at this stage, the next game is always the biggest one, and uh, it's Harrogate tomorrow, Good Friday. It's a massive game. It's the biggest game of the season because it's the next one, and we have to try and win that one. Um, and then obviously look forward to Stockport and the, and the ones that come after that. But we've got to take take care of business tomorrow so it's all eyes on Harrogate and we'll worry about it the, the ones after you know once we've got this one out of the way. They really got a surge on up the table didn't they but they've kind of fallen back into the pack. Yeah but they, you know they're competitive um, they've had some really good results on the road of late yeah so if we're thinking this is going to be an easy game then you know that's when you come unstuck you yeah. know they uh, they're still in the midst they still have ambitions themselves of, of, of trying to finish strong and, and see where that takes them close to the playoffs so uh, we have to be bang on it tomorrow, but well, I want to focus on ourselves. We'll, we'll show them uh, the due respect that we always do, but I want to focus on ourselves, our performance, and just bringing as much energy uh, and positivity to the to the game that we can. And uh, I think if we do that, we're a good team when, when we bring that. How's Omar? Omar is hopefully landed this morning. And uh, yeah, he. Uh, I spoke to him after the game, the second game. He come off, I saw him sort of walking off a bit gingerly, but... Uh, he just said it was a tough game, but he was fine physically, and um, yeah, he's back on the plane. Looked after himself, done the right uh, recovery stuff. So, obviously, I'll touch base with him today after after the training session and uh, make sure he's fine. And then he comes back with a group tomorrow. To be fair, you wanted to give Armani a little as much time as possible last week. How is he now? Probably going to be tight with Armani. Uh, probably going to miss out because uh, he's not really got the uh, the training and the required sort of sprints and, and stuff like that that you would need to have the confidence uh, to go into the game so probably going to miss out maybe over this week, Easter weekend we'll have him back after that. Team news, Harry Pell, is he available again after suspension? Harry unfortunately he's got a little niggle with his uh, with his calf so um, he won't be available to us, we're managing that, uh, we're hoping it's nothing too serious, um, obviously a blow, you know, he missed, that, he missed that game through suspension and uh, he's very much been a part of what we've been doing, you know. Whether you know that from the bench, uh, he's had a big role to play, Harry, and, uh, and around the group as well. So um, disappointed to not have him involved over the Easter weekend, but um, we're hoping to have him back for the, for the final push. How's everybody else? Good, yeah. I'm saying the boys were really bright this morning. It's it a great session down here. Um, we're raring to go. You know, we will realise where we are in the season. Six games to go. You know, in, in a few days' time, that's going to be down to four. Um, and we've given ourselves a really good chance now, a really good opportunity to, to, to do something. We want to have a really good Easter weekend, get as much out of this as we can and just attack these last few games and the, that's the message to the group and to be fair to the lads, they're driving that themselves. Uh, they can feel that we're, that we're in a good spot and uh, they just want to give everything we can now, finishing this season strong. Now the kits for tomorrow, we've got to touch upon that, it's for a very good cause but mm. I notice you've been training in red bibs out there as well, to get used to it? Yeah, maybe a little bit of psychology behind that but... Um, yeah, the, listen, it's a wonderful cause and it, it will look a little bit strange, wouldn't it, not seeing us in, in the uh, the blue, blue and yellow, but um, you know, at the end of the day, once that game starts, the boys will be focused on the job, but uh, this club's a, you know, a forerunner, isn't it, in, in initiatives to, to help in the local community wider than that as well, and uh, it's for a brilliant cause, and, uh, and the boys recognise that, they want to play their part, we want to raise as much money to help. Uh, that we can and um, and hopefully it brings us a bit of luck as well. Absolutely. Thanks very much indeed, Johnny. Cheers, Bob.